Okay, so what we're doing, we're using the built-in sensor in the mobile phone to pick up the vibrations from the road. And we're using GPS to map it to a road network. So the data we're creating is uh, used for road maintenance and it can also be used for routing. If you want to choose the smoothest route, you use Roadroid. And this application has been used in developing countries. Yeah. Yeah. So you were showing me earlier uh, uh, routings in Sri Lanka, for example, yeah, that, that yeah. Uh, you, you were, in a sense, able to identify what the quality of the route was, and yeah, so on and so yeah. forth. How, how is that useful to people? Uh, for, well, for, for developing countries, it's truly a revolution, because they can, ob in an objective way now, map their road network and map and network analysis in a maintenance perspective. So for funders, like in Sri Lanka, the Asian Development Bank, can see what is the road state before we do anything and uh, what targets, what goals can we set up and they can also follow up the results of their measures. And what, what's its use has been in developed countries so far? Uh, it's been uh, used mostly in Southeast Asia where uh, we have been in a, like a customer discovery, customer development phase but now we're very close to a very valuable proposition for them. Yeah. So it's a Sri Lanka, Cambodia, some parts of Thailand and um, India also. And how many people have been using it during this customer discovery phase? Uh, in, in the developing countries it's uh, a few experts bringing the technology to their projects, with their projects. Um, so it's a matter of uh, four or five persons. Um, so it's an expert app, but is, is the um, idea in the next phase that it would be a consumer app? Yeah, for the, the, the view of the, the internet page where you show the information is of public interest. But for we have a login, like, you know, that's a value proposition for the road owners. Um, so you have one public level, that would be for route choices, you know, like uh, if you want to go from A to B, I, can, I probably would know how long it is and how long it would take me, but now I could also have a comfort index on my route. So the expert would do the, the motion sensor trip, but the consumer would look at the data. Yeah, and also the professionals would look at the data in a like a road maintenance management system. So they have to log in and reach uh, more features than the, the public view would uh, do. Thanks for talking to me today.